as I said in my opening remarks, uh, half of the great partnership that has made this laboratory and this capability what it is, uh, is its association with the University of California. Um, as, a, as a young employee, I learned very early why I was here. And it was out of the public service mission of the University of California. Uh, we do what we do in service of the nation. That is truly a high calling. And we're, I'm very pleased that we have with us today President Mark Udall, President of the University. George, thank you, and, uh, and thank you for that kind uh, uh, introduction, uh, uh, focusing on the role of the University of California. I also want to thank the Department of Energy and the National nu Nuclear Security Administration uh, for your steady leadership and support that have made this uh, enormous project uh, possible. The University of California takes great pride in the association with the Department of Energy and with the Lawrence Livermore Laboratory and over the years uh, that have led to, the, to this day, this historic day in the history of that relationship. As many of you know, Professor Ernest O. Lawrence of UC Berkeley was instrumental in founding the lab as a branch of the UC, UC Radiation Lab in 1952. So we're honored to have been integrally involved with the lab since its inception for almost 60 years. Professor Lawrence's innovation of big science became the guiding principle of the work here at the lab. And it's hard to conceive of something bigger in opportunity and possibility than the National Ignition Facility we celebrate today. UC Professor Herbert York, of course, was the founding director of the lab at the ripe old age of 32. We mourn his recent passing as he provided remarkable leadership not only to the lab, but to our San Diego campus as its first chancellor. He was a champion of arms control and an ambassador for world peace, and he embodied the strengths and values that the university has brought to the lab for so many years. He will be greatly missed. These founders instilled in the laboratory the university's missions of research, education, and national service, and this exemplifies that heritage. Here in this facility, we see firsthand how interdisciplinary innovation in science and technology is applied to solve large, complex, and challenging problems of truly national and international dimension. UC faculty have served the laboratories in the laboratory's laser program since their exception, inception as educators, as a part of the workforce, as advisors and reviewers, and obviously they will continue to play many of those same Role at this new, roles at this new facility. Students from UC and from other universities have received advanced degrees for work done here at the lab, and NIF will now provide even greater opportunities for many more faculty, students, staff, and postdocs. Our faculty at UC will also participate in some of the first unclassified experiments at NIF at NIF in the fields as, in fields as diverse as astrophysics, geoscience material science, and high energy density science. And for the foreseeable future, this facility will enable cutting edge science that can be conducted nowhere else in the world. So on behalf of the University of California system, I want to say we're proud to work with this laboratory as it nurtures the National Ignition Facility to, to its full potential and expands our understanding of the universe. And remember, the motto of the University of California is Fiat Lux which means let there be light, and today, both figuratively and literally, the university is participating in exactly that. Thank you. <laughs>